All right, let's warm up. Starting off with sidestep shoulder lift. Transitioning right into it, sidestep arm cross. High knee twist. Wide full twist. Remember to breathe. You're doing great. Arm raise flaps. Make sure to keep your chest up. Alternating calf stretch. You're gonna flex that foot, lead with your chest. Try to keep a flat back. Last one, twisted march. Yes, march it out. Reach nice and high. Bring that knee to elbow, keeping your chest up. And done, awesome. Now that we're all loose and warmed up, here are examples of the movements that will be in this first circuit, okay? I hope you are ready to work. Our workout today will have two separate circuits. This circuit will have five exercises and each time you repeat a circuit, guess what? It's your job to improve from your previous circuit. Okay, so at this time, take a look, get some water, take your breath, say that you can do this, and we are about to start. All right, in three, two, one, first up, knee to alternating elbows, left side. Get ready to switch in three, two, one. Get ready for walk out to squat holds and go. All right, when you walk out, try not to drop those hips. Keep your core tight, breathe. When you come back and shift to that squat, make sure the weight is shifted back on those heels. Keep your chest up. Get ready to switch in three, two, one. Squat to alternating clap lunges. Let's go. Quick tip when shifting weight from the lunge to the squat, push off of that back leg into that squat and the front leg, make sure that heel stays down. You're doing great. All right, let's get ready to switch in three, two, one, knee down diamond push-ups. Yes, and if you feel froggy, get on those toes. Quick check in, make sure that those hands are in line with your chest. Lead with your chest. You got this breathe out each time you push up. Keep those hips down. Try not to push that boom boom out. 
You got it. One more to go in this round. Three, two, one, knee and crunches. Remember, this is the last one. And after this, we have an active rest. We are on our backs. So press your back firmly against the ground and keep your core engaged. Try and keep your upper back from resting on the ground. Lift up. Push through, almost there. Three, two, one, and active rest. Meaning, we are not gonna lay down and just lay there, okay? Get yourself up, grab some water, breathe it out, tell yourself you did a good job, right? Oh, I can't believe I did it, you did it, yeah. How did you do that first round? Did anything feel uncomfortable? If it did, switch it up, change it to your level, okay? Make it for you. Do you feel like you could do better? Do that. All right, do you need to slow it down? Check your form. Do that. Because here we go. Three, two, one. Knee to alternating elbows, right side. In three, two, one, get ready for walk out to squat holds. And if transitioning into that squat seems a little too difficult, continue to walk in and out, all right? Don't give up. What you're able to do is enough. We can build to that. Just don't stop. All right, in three, two, one, squat to alternating clap lunges. Let's go. And if you're dropping your chest to clap under, feel free to clap over those legs. There's more than one way to give yourself a hand. Get ready to switch into those diamond push-ups in three, two, one, let's go. All right, keep in mind, we are not directly on the knee when we are doing this. Drop those hips and lean forward so we can be more on the quadriceps. That's that front leg. All right, we're gonna switch over to the knee and crunches in three, two, one, flip over. All right, push through, we're almost there. We have that active rest in three, two, one, and active rest. You know what that means. Get up, get out and do something. <laughs> what is that off of? Do what you need, get some water, take some deep breaths. We're almost there, two rounds down, one more to go. All right, you know what that means. Yep, you guessed it. Last round, best round. Here we go. Knee to alternating elbows, right side. We're sticking with knee to alternating elbows, but we're gonna switch in three, two, one, switch sides. Get ready for those walkouts to squat holds in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, get in there. Get in as many as you did those first two rounds.
Get ready for those squat to alternating clap lunges in three, two, one, go. All right, switching the knee down, diamond push-ups in three, two, one, push it out. All right, switching the knee and crunches in three, two, one, flip over. All right, we're almost done in three, two, one, and active rest. Yes, you did it. You got that first round done. Moving on to the second circuit. Here are the examples of the exercises coming up. We're doing four exercises twice each. And again, you decide how hard this next circuit is going to be. All right. All right, here we go. Starting off with the lower ab bicycles in three, two, one, let's go. Remember to keep your core tight and fully extend those legs. Switching it up to the modified tricep dips in three, two, one, dip it up. Make sure those hands are facing in the same direction as you are and try to keep those elbows in. Switching to the clams in three, two, one, right side. Up next, wide glute bridge pulses in three, two, one. This is a small movement. Think of tilting those hips, squeezing those glutes, and less of your back. Keep pulsing it. We're almost there in three, two, one, and active rest. Awesome job. First round done. Get up, get up, get up. Remember, during this active rest, get some water, move around. One more round. This is it. Yes, yeah, stretch it out. Get ready. Last round, best round. You know what that means. You're better than you were before. Lower at bicycles in three, two, one, go.
Run it out, run it out, run it out. We're almost there. We're going to switch to the modified tricep dips in three, two, one, switch. Switching to the clams on the left side. Three, two, one, go. Last but not least, we have the wide glute bridge pulses in three, two, one, pulse it out. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome. Yes. Time to cool down. I hope you feel proud of yourself and victorious because, yeah, you did that. And as you push yourself to become a better version of yourself, make sure to give yourself some love. We're going to slowly roll up. Make sure that your head is the last to come up. And that is it for your workout. Again, I hope you feel accomplished and successful because, yeah, you did that. Give yourself a hand. Please make sure you follow and subscribe for more videos. And remember, keep glowing, keep going, and keep growing.